Hello everyone, welcome again. And today I'm going to continue that uh, Java development tutorial series. So uh, until we have here, here is the complete playlist. So I will provide the link in description box. So you can watch the previous video also. So until we have done like how to create that environment, the registration page, the login page, database connectivity, browser back button, etc. So this complete tutorial list I will send. Uh, I will. Um, Put that link in description box you can check from there so here is our registration form and login form and we have connected this mysql workbench which is mysql database so in this tutorial we have we will see how can i send a value with this url uh, technically it is called a query string so how can we pass a value or uh, attribute with the url so like right now i'm indexed to i'm on the index.jsp page and when user going to click this it will redirect on welcome.jsp so i want to send the username or you can say email id with this url so how can i send it in jsp so for example <coughs> this is the complete configuration and current project for which i am working for the this tutorial so you can see i'm going to continue this example and if you don't know <coughs> how to create that setup and if you are how to do this kind of code so you can watch that previous video you will easily get the things so currently in this video i'm going to focus how can i send a value with url to next url so we can send the value jsp to jsp we can send send the value servlet to jsp and jsp to servlet by the similar way so right now you can see in my login.java servlet we are if login going to be success we are going to send this url uh, to controller to welcome.jsp now i want to send a value which is called email or you can say username or any kind of value with this url and need to receive on that welcome.jsp file so how can we do that so i just need to write some code here like question mark and actually email value we are getting already was session so we can send some other value right here so question mark and the value name like uh, the value name value name and equals to sign here i need to enter my message so you can see <coughs> there is a value in email and if i want to send some password also so i want to uh, like need to enter password here pass the password value here so it is my password which will we will get in the next page for example uh, we are not getting email because we already using session and getting that email here welcome user case will with the welcome user i want to get the password also and password will be we will get by the query string so how can i retrieve this value and then welcome.jsp so we just go on the welcome.jsp you can see here we are getting this email here now i need to get a password so the string password goes to request dot get parameter parameter and i need to pass here the name of the value which is value name you can check here and my login.java we just pass the name value name so it's like a, a parameter so we will get the parameter here so by the method uh, method get parameter you just need to pass the name here and uh, for demo purpose i'm going to print this password so to pass to print password i need to use just outdoor print line and password <coughs> let's check again the complete flow when user go home and enter some data it will register it successfully no problem but uh, i want to log in and i want to pass this password by query string so you can see the password and the password value is null here right now it's not getting any value some mistake I think. Just change the name like email.
you can see the email here actually we can get the password with the pass because the password will change in the dot 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 so we are getting the um, email value again so just I need to change I, I just change my string uh, my string my value which we are going to get so email value and here on the welcome to this we are just getting by this get parameter and just printing